Welcome back. Suffocating in Suburbia. Stevie GB here. Now, my guest I have on today is unbelievable. This guy is not only one of my favorite comedians of all time, but he is a comedian's comedian. Let's just call him that. Okay. Now, let me tell you about this guy. Back in like 1982, 83, my wife and I went to a comedy club on Long Island. It was East Side Comedy Club in Huntington. And I don't know if this guy was the MC or he was the middle. I don't know where he was, but it's the only comedian I remember. And I looked up at that stage and I said to my wife, I want to be a comedian one day. Not that he, not that it's easy, but Bobby made it look, he like lit that spark in me. Now it took me 10 years to get the nerve up to do it. But I always say when people say, who was your inspiration to do comedy? It's Bobby Collins. And who knew that years later, I would get to open for this guy, well, probably nine or 10 times. I don't know, but it's always a pleasure to see you, Bobby. You're a comedian's comedian. I love you to death. Thank you so much for doing this. How are you, my friend? What's going on there, buddy? How are you? Look at I'm, you with your hat. That's my hat. My daughter got me this hat. Nice. GB. Nice. I was going to sell them, but people will be walking around like, who the hell's that? Who cares? <laughs> And we're living in Jumanji right now, anybody, anyway. You're right. It's like a board game out there. Is it amazing? Is it's it amazing. amazing. I'm not going to mention COVID because that's the C uh, word. That's the new C word. Am I right? Uh, it's worse okay. than the real C word. Right, right, right. Because it's like, it's a beast. But how have you, how have you been? How have you been? Well, I, I've been home for 10 months oh. and I've done a bunch of uh, corporate uh, Zoom things like this, yeah. and it's the worst. It's hard. But they pay. And uh, I went out. My wife, the other day, I came out of the shower. She looked at my butt and she said, Bobby, you used to have a bubble butt. She goes, Now it looks like Mitch McConnell's chin. It slid <laughs> down. Sometimes I have to lift my cheeks up just to wipe. This is what's going on in my world. Does it talk like Mitch McConnell? Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got to put it like marbles and shit and mud in your mouth, right? No, and then I got a lot of calls. I've been getting a lot of calls for 10 months because uh, me and Celine Dion, we did uh, Trump's inauguration. Oh, so people no. think uh, we're buddies. I mean, I've known them for 20 something years, yeah. but you know, money doesn't discriminate. People no. do. <laughs> Conservative money, Republican money, Democrat, it's all money. It's money. I that's just the only thing that's uniting us is the freaking dollars. That's it. Isn't it sad? People it look sad. at politics. To us, it's a money corporation. I'm from New York City. I go, when the government shut down, we never knew it was open. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I I called the I called a government agency the other day and I got an answer right away. I said, "Wow, they must be shut down. What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy. It is crazy. To be but, honest, if you and I, for who we are right now, were sitting around like we're doing now, bullshitting each other and laughing, if Donald Trump was with us, we'd look at him. If he was a friend of ours, we'd go, "Hey, Don, you got to lose the spray tan." <laughs> and the hair, you got it, it, you know, it, your hair's the color of tang. You, you, you look like an emoji. And as president, you can't be telling people to drink bleach and sticking two LED lights up their ass. It ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> and people believe this shit. People believe it, Stevie. It's insane. It's insane. But what are you going to do? So, uh, hey, you know, look, we were on the road. We did a one show on the road. But every time you come to Long Island, I bust your balls. Bobby, put me on the show. And, right, and right. I'm trying, Stevie. I'm trying. Stevie, you owe me eight minutes. You I, owe me eight minutes. Remember that show we did somewhere? I don't know. That was, I think, in Jersey. I don't know what happened to me. I lost my brain and went fried out. It happens. And I shorted your lip. And I was, I'm like, Bobby Collins. And you're probably shaking it off in the bathroom. What the, I thought I heard my name. And you come running out your zip is down it was hilarious <laughs> have you performed uh in the last 10 months no my last show was march 9th believe it or not 
and I've done it like you like you did a couple of these Zoom shows, and they're awful. Oh, and I tell oh. them, don't mute the people. We want to hear laughter. Don't mute right. the people. But you hear dogs barking, doors opening, kids crying, people <laughs> farting. It's like, what the hell? It's, I feel like I'm home. I, I know. I know. It's crazy. I, I don't get it. I don't yeah. get it. You know, if things change. I've never been home this much in 40 years. <laughs> and I remember when I was a young kid growing up in Manhattan. And I'd walk by those lingerie shops. Remember those? Yeah. And the, the see-through, the see-through underwear, the panties, the bras, yeah. and those garter belts, you know? Now, I went to bed with my wife the other night. She had a double, double flannel pajamas. She had a knapsack and goggles. I basically went to bed with an Eskimo. This is, <laughs> you notice these things. It's very true. Great. I never thought I'd be asking my wife, what's for dinner at 1030 in the morning? That's <laughs> like, what are we eating today? What day is the? I don't know what day it is. I know I miss out on that. The other day, literally in 10 months, I have, usually have the same procedure. I asked, she asked me, she goes, did you brush your teeth today? <laughs> and I had to stop and I went, it's eight o'clock at night. And I didn't. <laughs> I haven't worn shoes in six months. It's like, what's going on? I, I live in sweatpants. I yes. live in sweatpants. I do. Matter of fact, Jill says to me sometimes, you're going to put pajamas on or you're going to sleep in your sweatpants. I go, what's the difference? Who cares? Nobody's watching. I know. Who cares? Yeah. But you know what, Bobby? It'll all be back. And I really do believe it'll be back stronger than ever because people are going to want to laugh. I believe that. They need yeah. that more than ever. People are angry. People are pissed off. People are getting involved in politics. Oh, oh. my God. Even my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law didn't know anything. She's asking me questions. What's the difference between the House and the Senate? I'm like, right. they all suck. That's all right. you need to know. Right. <laughs> right. Nothing. Look up the word suck. <laughs> oh, it's a God. big suck show. That's what it is. I get it. I can't believe that, the, you know, and Donald Trump, he got 11% of the vote in New York City. Yeah, and, if, and if we all knew him in New York, you know, out of the four biggest, uh, remember the big, uh, uh, what are those guys that build things? What do they call them? The real people? estate developers? Yeah, big developers. Yeah. They used to think Donald Trump was the biggest joke you can imagine. And we all did. And we, we knew he was a con artist. We knew he right. was a racist. We knew all that. Matter of fact, if you drive by his building today on 58th Street, and everyone told me this when I went back to New York about three months ago. They go, Bob, do you have to go uptown? I go, yeah, I got to go up. by." They go, go by Trump Tower. I go, why? They go, just tell me what you see. Everyone that walks by. Oh. Their face. Cab drivers honk. Oh, he moved to Florida. They, they don't like him in New York. I almost died. Oh, my God. That's I know. crazy. But we got our great governor. We got our great governor Cuomo and uh, De Blasio. They're not. They're not any better. None I of know, these guys are I good. Know. They're De all. Blasio. Look, you know. Oh God. <laughs> he can't even eat pizza. He eats pizza with a knife and fork. What kind of New Yorker eats pizza with a knife and fork? What you... And I'm out here in California. These are the most white, privileged, entitled, Range Rover, Fendi people I've ever seen. Oh my God. What are they? What's their Italian restaurant? Domino's? What's going on? They don't have no, York pizza. They, they don't. You know, everything's closed up here. Yeah. And, you know, if somebody doesn't have a mask. Hey, excuse me. You don't have a mask. <laughs> you know, they're like, oh god, I, I don't get it. <laughs> so yeah. let's talk about what? How are you making money? Are you selling your book? Your book is fantastic, by the book's way. Selling book. Book's good. selling good. Book selling good. DVD. The uh, the last latest one's doing well. Great. Um, this book. This one. On the inside. On the inside. I love it. Uh, Buy Wisdoms that book. And Wisdomisms. We it's a wonderful that. book. God, family, career. That's your order. Remember right? that, huh? Oh, yeah, I read the book. Put one ahead of the other. You got to get back on where you got off. That's right. And I love your, uh, you always look two ways when you're crossing a one-way street. Look, look both ways. Look down both a long ways. Way. That's how we were brought up in New York. That's right. You know? I was I was a Brooklyn boy, so I know. I know how that worked, you know? Brooklyn, you know, the best. I lived in Brooklyn for a little while. My wife where, still talks about it. Where in Brooklyn did you live? Cobble Hill. 
I don't know where that is. I was 14. Everything with me was Marine Park. Marine Park oh, okay. and Floyd okay. Bennett Field and Kings Plaza. That's where I lived. Beautiful neighborhood until things happened. You know, Mayor Lindsay happened. Remember we, that? Remember we had to get the hell out of there. My mother was like, let's get the hell out of here. Pe Bobby, people would move in the middle of the night. We'd wake up and say, what happened to those people? They're gone. They would leave skid marks. They'd run out of Brooklyn so freaking fast. Am I right? Oh, God. Yeah, you know, I have a, I, I have this little studio apartment in New York 40, 38 years ago. I rented this studio and it was paying $500 a month. And at wow. that time, that was a lot, you know, yeah. but you still, you know, that's when you waited outside with your bags. And as soon as the kid, the guy that moved out, you moved right in because the <laughs> occupancy was 100%, remember? Yes. And I remember a friend of mine had a two bedroom living room seven rooms in Brooklyn, third floor walk up of a brownstone. Wow. And he was moving out. He goes, Bobby, why don't you take this? I go, how much is it? He goes, $550. Right. I rented mine out for $650. <laughs> and I moved over this. So I was living, I was making $100 in Brooklyn. Good for you. Loved it. Loved it. Good for you. And now now you started comedy. When did you start? You had to start like late 70s, early 80s? Early 80s. I came okay. late. I mean, I, I was working at Calvin Klein. I know. And, and big job, garden. right? Yeah. Oh, job. it was good, but I hated it. Yeah. But at night, I would always go to the comedy clubs to perform. Wow. And I remember saying to all the buyers that came in from around the... I go, what are you guys doing tonight? Because they were all young girls. They all were writing up our orders. New York intimidated them. So I said, well, I do stand up comedy and I'll be over at uh, uh, what's that one? Catch a Rising Star. Mm. I go, I'll be there on 78th Street. They had nothing else to do. They would right. jam in. Oh, and my great. orders were huge. People don't buy the material. They buy the person. Right. And uh, they called me in. We're going to make you an executive vice president. I go, you have six of them already. I go, does it mean more money? They went, yeah. I go, then you can call me emperor. Doesn't make a difference. <laughs> I did it for about not even a year. Then I wow. went full time into comedy. Really? Was that what? What did your parents think of that? We're like, what are you doing, Bobby? <laughs> no, they had a lot of faith in me. Oh, they they knew, did good. You know, I used to take dates up to Catch a Rising Star, and I'd see Freddie Prinz, Gabe Kaplan, wow. uh, David Brenner, and I'd watch them. And the girl, we'd watch three acts, and then she'd say, "Oh, come on, let's go." I'd give her cab money. No, I'm going to stick around. I. I should be doing this. I knew I go. should, you know? There you go. So you had that kind of enlightened moment that I had with you. Who was it? Was there somebody you saw that you said, that's the per I want to do that? Was there somebody in specific or? No, but from watching people, a comics on the stage, I knew the difference between a lot of them, even the ones I see new today. The difference was you got to show who you are, the right. person. Yeah. and do your talk about that of how you look at things right. and it comes across so much stronger rather than two jews walk into a bar right. they buy it right. you know right. what i mean of course yeah, and it's your persona. Uh, i knew that 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 persona became who i was so anytime i talked about my wife oh she's hairy we vacuum a lot you know what i mean she's italian you're telling the truth, but you're having fun with it. And everyone, right, right, right. You know, oh, he does have an Italian. Well, you have the best delivery. I mean, your delivery. And, you know, I always tell people the the way you know a good comic's delivery is if the next day you try to tell their joke and nobody <laughs>, laughs, right? They say, that's not funny. I say, well, you had to be there. When he, Bobby <laughs> told I said, that's because he's a comedian. He's a good comedian. Oh, There's a difference God. between telling a joke and being a comedian. You know, I mean... You're People right. don't realize the talent and what's involved in being able to do that. And oh. I, I think it's wonderful that you've been able to do this all these years. And uh, people, people still criticize me. They'll go, hey, yeah. Bob, comics I know, Chris Rock, all the guys, they go, you're an A-list comic. Why would you work that one theater on a Saturday and the night before you're working in some shithole in Jersey or Philadelphia? I go, because working in the shithole makes me get it things ready and work on new material for me to work in the big place. Right, exactly. And when you have a special needs child, that extra $2,000, it pays people to take care of it. Of course, of course. It's you, you're doing it for a living and you're taking care of your family. And 
I mean, what what better situation? You're doing what you love and you're taking care of your family. And I, I mean, you're blessed. You could, God bless you for that. That's amazing. How many people would love to be yeah. to have that? You know, that's great. You know, I, I got to tell you, though, it, it wears on you not working. You know, I've yeah. done about. Oh, God, I did my own podcast for as soon as it started. I had, you know, right. Jay Leno. I had. Oh, uh, yeah, I Ray watched them. You saw some of them. Colin Quinn and Colin, the, the boys. But then after I did 10 of them, I was like, OK, this thing's not ending now. So then I did a lot of videos fooling around laughing. I saw I had that a too. lot of fun with those. <laughs> and then I was like, OK, this thing's not over yet. And it's been two months. What's going mm. on? Mm. And yeah, then now you, you, can't, you take your calendar and you keep cancel, cancel. cancel. Oh, that's so. depressing. You got to throw out your calendar. You don't want to see those dates come and go. People still say to me now when I run, they go, Bobby, how you been? I go, I used to be a pretty good stand up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll all work out. It'll, It'll come back. I, I hope this year, I hope by spring, summer, we, oh. these things start coming back. And I'm taking you know. dates from March now. Well, that's that's March, April, May. Yeah, I think if you have a vaccine and you can get one, go do it. I'll take three. I'll take ten. I don't care. Stab the <laughs> shit out of me. I really don't care. But there might be side effects. I don't care. The side effects are better right. than this. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Collins, how you doing? How are you? Yeah, it's good to be here. No, I got a little twitch. I got the vaccine. Oh, he's peeing on himself now. Oh, yeah, that's another. <laughs> Oh man, I tell you, it's it's wonderful to talk to you. I'm. Uh, how is your daughter doing? How's every? How's the family? Everybody's good. Everybody's good. My, good. Uh, I was supposed to be today's uh, uh, Wednesday. I was supposed to be tomorrow and, uh, night. Uh, excuse me, Friday and Saturday at a beautiful place in Port uh, Port Charlotte, Florida. Wow. And uh, they paid really well. And they, I said, are you open? That where we seat the 350, Bobby, you always sell out, but we cut it down to 150. And they didn't even want to cut my money. Uh, but I, I looked at my wife and she said, we have a special needs daughter. Don't even yeah. risk it. Yeah. So uh, I didn't do it. Right. Yeah. Well, like you said, God, family, career. So you put you the family. It. Imagine, a, God forbid, you came home with something and wow. you gave it the, you gave it to your daughter and she died. Oh my! I couldn't live like that. You couldn't live for for a hundred and fifty seat show. It's just not. You just got to wait it out. It's we're it's, circus people. We're carny. I like talking with Stevie. We're laughing. We're fooling around. That's who we are. It's true. It's true. We are circus. I like that circus people. That's funny. <laughs> I never thought of us as circus people. You got too many teeth. You got nice teeth. You can't yeah, be well, a carny. I'm circus, circus. <laughs> You're the juggler. I'll be, I don't know. I'll be the, the, the guy who jumps, that goes out of the cannon. How about you that? Will. You'll be like, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Stevie. <laughs> and you'll be on the ground saying, you owe me eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> As I crash because I fuck, forgot my helmet. You're a nut. You're in it. Stevie yeah. Jeepy's the best. How's Long Island? Oh, the same. It's it's a it's a ghost town. Long yeah. Island how's is Long that, Island. How's that club governors and all that stuff. Are they they're closed? closed. You know, they're gonna reopen, I hope. I don't know. And you know, the theaters, there's some nice theaters here. You've done them, Suffolk oh. Theater and you know, there's some good places. They all try to screw you, but they're nice places. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm sure you've run into that a lot, you know. Oh God, Stevie. <laughs> it's a brutal business. It's brutal, but you know, I, I love it. Uh, I um, I have still have a sort of part time job. I still do some accounting, and you're an accountant. You're an account. You're a money guy. Here's I got a question for you. You're a yes. guy I can ask this to, and be honest with me. Um, do comedians or bookers or agents look down on a guy like me because I have a job and do comedy? Is it a bad thing? Is it is it considered like a hobby instead of I'm not a full comedian that went out on the road and oh no no sure. not at all I feel not that horrible like oh no no you know? if anyone looks down on you like that they're they're assholes what you're doing is subsidizing what you do right until, uh, until you until you hit it and if right. you don't hit it you're smart you're making money as it happens 
And oh, you're well, enjoying yourself. I'm enjoying myself. You know, I started out as a hobby and now I'm, I did well, I did well enough to call it a second job, which isn't so Absolutely. bad. Absolutely. No, and, no, don't look at you. Like, all right. It's just that eats at me. And I wanted to ask you no, because you're no, a guy I respect. Them. That's not you. All right. Yeah, I that's didn't think them. so. Remember, but the thank cream, you. I appreciate the cream that. Cream rises to the top. Shit yeah. floats for a while, then it's safe. <laughs> You're the cream. Thank you. Oh wow, I, re I appreciate that very much. And when we get back, I'm going to give you that eight minutes. <laughs> you got to get in touch with me. Where we always talk it all the time. I always ask you. I look at your schedule. If you're nearby, I'm like Bobby. You need me. Oh. And if you do, and you do, it. Me. do that. Do that because I always do. I always need somebody sometimes at the last moment and right. it's like, oh, crap, where am I going to be? Uh, New Jersey, uh, Long Island. Stevie, what's going on? I'm your guy. I'm your guy. So always. I'm going to promote your book like crazy. Everybody Thank should you. buy it. It's a beautiful book. I read it. I loved it. Next time I see you, I got to get you to sign the thing because you sign it for strangers. Well, you don't even sign it for your buddy. Money, Steve, that costs more money. <laughs> And you're a nice Jewish guy. You know I'm it. not Jewish. I look Jewish. I was raised by Jews. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I always tell this joke. It's true. I'm half Italian, half Greek. I look Jewish. My mother was very close with Saul Greenblatt, our CPA. So I'm starting to wonder. You know, my pants are up to my chest now. My penis is shrinking more every day. I don't know what's going on. Bro. I know exactly what you it's mean. Falling, it's falling apart on me. I uh, we'll do well. We'll do it together again. You I know. can't wait to be with you on stage and introduce you. I think I remember your introduction. This guy was nominated for a Grammy. He's been on Jay <laughs> Leno, Jimmy Fallon. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him, Bobby Collins. Oh, listen to you. Thank you. Good, right? Uh, Pretty you're good. Always good. <laughs> Except when you sit in the damn train with you and talk with you. Oh my God, the son of a bitch can talk. <laughs> oh man i know i talked your ear off i'm sorry no, no, uh, you know it is i'm fun. i'm it's a bad habit i'm starstruck you know you're you're like one of my idols and i i'm like sitting on a train with you i, I gotta i gotta chew your ear off i can't help it but no. we're new yorkers this is what we do we're that's new what we do that's, that's what, what we do. do if you were from indiana I, or if i was from indiana i wouldn't say a word to you i would nothing like that guy to talk about like one time I was jammed on a subway and I'm holding the thing and a guy's ne standing next to me, a kid. He's got these little wheels in his ears. And I looked over at him and he said, what? I said, you got wheels in your ears. He goes, you like them? I go, sir, you have wheels in your ears. And he had a sports jacket on. I go, where are you going? He goes, going on a job interview. I said, watch my lips. You're not going to get the job. <laughs> he goes, why not? You got fucking wheels in your ears. Because should I take them out? No, then it looks like you're melting. <laughs> People don't get it. We have a job to do. Make them laugh, but educate them also. That's it, buddy. We got we got to teach them. We got to teach these people how to laugh again. Hey, we'll be back. You'll be back. I'll be back. We'll be together. People, buy this book. It's phenomenal. Go see Bobby when he's back in town. Hopefully, I'll be on stage with him, giving him those freaking eight minutes so he can stop <laughs> complaining about it. You got a whole hour, so shut up. You yeah, it's true. On your mind that day, and we'll do it again soon. And Stevie, anytime you want to do this, you give me a call. Uh, you're the best. I love you, buddy. Thank you. Be well. You God bless it. you. Love, and peace to your family. Thanks, buddy. And uh, let's see what Joe Biden does if he remembers to talk. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Look at our choices, Joe Biden. Uh, 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 <laughs> Joe, I'm over here. I'm over. Here. <laughs> Take care, Stevie. Take care, buddy. Love you. Bye. Take care.